Ай да! Аса? Цук цуй! Сыпцы! Welcome to another episode of me. Fuck you. And me. No, you're not here. Let's talk about Weasel and Weasel. Look at my hair, it's all fuzzy here. I don't know what this is. This is 30 thoughts 32. It is what? No, wait, 12. 21. Anyways, I am the otter. And I am the Amsel or Weasel. And we are furry thoughts. Wait, we're. Well, well, okay, today we are. We are furry thoughts number 21. Did you like the new thumbnail? I think people did. They clicked massively on that fucking video before you even promoted it. You all look like a Robocop with a cap now. So, oh, okay. Is it now? Ooh. How has your week been, Mr. Weasel? What have you been doing? What have um, you been up to besides not shaving? Well, I got a procrastination beard. And... Was that... That week, the week is still ongoing, of course, and it's a very busy week to say the least because I have to work a fucking lot. Oh. And that's good because I can spend money on later on in the month. Oh, and where are you gonna spend it on? Besides? Fishing gear! Oh, I thought host. I like host to, to, to tend the garden, you know? Yeah, I, I saw a good one at the Boerenbond. Did you know? Mm hmm. Oh. 70 euros. That's nothing. Well, it's this big. Like. It can withstand three bar. That's what she said. <laughs> I, I know I shouldn't. That was pretty cool uh, how quickly we got it fused in the last free toss. We got us some new subscribers as well. Hi there, people. Hi there, cat. Well. Hi there, yeah, hi there, cat. <laughs> That's one of the new ones. Yeah. You've been very perceptive, Mr. Weasel. Mm. Hi there, cat. You ready for your initiation? Wait, what? She said in the comments that she loved our accents. I don't know what she to love about it, but. but. Our accents? He's an American. We're very lovely. I mean, lonely. Ah, uh, I'm Mr. Lonely. Uh, so uh -huh. What about your accent, Weasel? I'm a little bit British, Scottish, and Irish in the same time. Eh. Hey. Because I, so. because I say if I say words with a T T H, I always say threatened or three. Threatened. Threatened. Oh. Threatened, you know. Threatened the needle. <laughs> hey, I can notice by the way the microphone what? input is very low, so I'm gonna move the, the microphone. What are we drinking? We're drinking Amstel Rattler. But anyways, let's start the real podcast. Haven't we started yet? No, this is more shenanigans. Oh, so, no, so. no, no. We already started. You had some subjects and I is... Do I? I as... <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to react to it, but... <laughs> you had some subjects, we Yes. And do I have subjects? We'll see along the way, maybe. First of all, I'm gonna get my info little information board here I because I to talk about it. I always have stuff to talk about. But um, you know, you guys all know Valve. I also know, especially the people on Steam. You know the fat one. I mean, the the big fat eating burger one who needs to make Half Life the, Three, the Portal one. Three, and Left for Dead Three for fuck's sake instead easy, of eating easy. burgers. Go ahead. Thank you. Half Life Three confirmed. <laughs> Anyhow, Gabe Newell has been the victim of that threatened. Yeah? No, that's not a word. What was the death threat? That threatened, no. The so victim of a death threat. Threatened to death. He's still alive though. Death and the threat. Eh, worked for me. <laughs> <laughs> he had he had a threat death. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. And anyway, he has been threatened by an indie developer company called Let Me Get My Information Board. We heard of my information board. We rough, indeed. The guy who threatened uh, Gabe Newell was Mike Va Mike Malbec from Malbec City. Code Avaris. I have never heard of them. Nope, same here. So they, um, the story was uh, the, the studio uh, made a game in the off in the in the, in the few uh, in the last years. And they were very proud of it. So they sought contact with Steam to publish their game. They did make an arrangement, it would be posted on Steam. All is happy. Everything is happy. Everyone is happy. 
Steam uh, is love, Steam is life. Oh god. So, um, Steam did publish the game, uh, but uh, there was a fuck up, a little, a little screw up, because the game was uh, announced as an early access, which means that you can play it, but there will be improvements in mm -hmm. further notice. Yeah. Until, can, until uh, further notice. You can actually join in the development of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give feedback and stuff. But the game itself was already fully developed, so the guy, one of the guys of the team, was very angry about that, and he tweeted like, oh, I'm gonna kill the game. And that's not a good idea to put that on Twitter. Oh, so the idea was that the game was finished according to them, but Steam decided to put it on early access. No, it was a, it was a fuck up. I think it was just a miscommunication. Oh, I couldn't okay. find that part though. But miscommunication from Steam's part then, I guess. Well, both parts. I mean, they could have been specific. Yeah. Specific. It had to be a full priced, like, done game, not an early access one in the end. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know about the. Done. I don't know about the price though, because it didn't no, say the article didn't say the price. But yeah. it's it's weird, you know. Why should you threaten people when you are making a fuck up? I mean, it's 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 it's. it's, it's I know your your pride has been hurt. You're making. Mm -hmm. uh, you're you're developing it for the uh, for like four or five years. For but the win. Yeah, maybe I mean maybe go for the gold like the Olympian. <laughs> yeah. Sport, but it, it's just it just it doesn't make sense. You're uh, a game developer. You know that you're gonna need sponsors, in this case Steam, to promote your game. Mm -hmm. So why the fuck do you think about posting a tweet of killing the director of that company? The big boss. The big, the yeah, big, the big, the big very boss. big boss. Why, why, should you, why should you threaten him? I mean, that's just weird. Uh, I think it's weird too, especially if you're a freaking developer. I mean, mm -hmm. if you would be someone independent somewhere, then, it, then it's even stupid. But I mean, you want to be official, you want to make it big, probably. I mean, you probably want to keep making money out of this. I mean, it's your passion, I, yeah. I, otherwise you wouldn't have been working on yeah, this for the last could, couple of you years. Could, you could have made a sarcastic tweet about burgers and Half-Life 3, but dead threats, I mean, no. Well, don't, I, just I, don't do it. I think uh, he said like he was in the heat of the moment, but then again, I think you were just like, dude, calm the fuck down. Yeah, dude. Like, there's also there's a, such a thing as heat of the moment and just threatening someone to death. Mm, there's a small difference. <laughs> yeah. It's a slight, slight difference, you know. Uh, the guy who did that, who, who, who threatened him, yeah. resigned from the company after uh, was, was, was he announced he that the game was sorry. pulled back from Steam. Was he the big boss or just a shareholder? No, no, he's a shareholder. shareholder. Oh. He, uh, he, uh, he sold his shares and immediately uh, quit his job in order to save the company. It, it, it did took responsibility for uh, his actions, but then again, yeah, if you can take responsibility after, you can res take responsibility beforehand, I think. That's true. I mean, the guy's a good thinker, apparently, because he did the best for his company, mm -hmm. but why can't you do that beforehand, instead of making such drastic t choices, like getting away from your company? Like beforehand, afterhand? <laughs> you suck! You you suck. You suck. Welcome to this very awesome weasel. Today, this video is about me. Just a few mi just a few minutes ago, Otter and I had an accident. My chair, the chair I'm sitting on right now, rolled over his foot. He screamed in agony. Ah! And then he collapsed. <laughs> I sought help. Help me! I gave him mouth to mouth. No, you didn't. Everything I could do, just save him. Get your fucking finger out of my ass. But it was too late. <gasps> He's gone. Hello, somebody up here. Somebody at this gate. Can somebody open this shit up, Peter? You maybe? And Jesus. In memory Guys, of trying him. Trying to get in over here. I will say. Is heaven or something? Thank you. Let me in for fuck's sake. Thank you, Otter. Hi. This will be Hi. the Weasel Channel for now on. It's a miracle! Hey. I was. Uh, how have you been? Good. How was the gate? Um, which gate? I should stop doing shrooms. <laughs> yeah, you hung out with Mario again, Luigi, <laughs> and 
bang Bowser. I mean Peach. It probably was Bowser, right? <laughs> At the same time. Turtle treason. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Next subject! <laughs> the subject of today is me talking very loudly and very overreaction. You know those vloggers, the real vloggers, the real deal. They're like the real ones, like, hey guys, how you doing? Let's yes, uh, yeah. let's um, let's let's copy them. Like, no, not copy them, but let's not do that. No, just wait a second. Let's okay, do, let's just do that. How I mean, you do that? Like, it's a little bit way too much cuts and, and way mimic, too much mimic, things mimic. and way too much hand signs and closing up the microphone and and this and this and this, and this. very busy and also very fluck 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 fluck. So you can put a lot of effects on here, and you, so you can do this like this. Have you been playing games this week, maybe? No, yeah, Minecraft, but... Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. There... Stop. There will be a Mortal Kombat movie. That's amazing. Blood. Sweat. Keep, keep, and trays. Keep, keep yourself back to the Minecraft thing. Have you been playing games this week, Weasel? Minecraft. Minecraft. Talking. I I play Minecraft, so yes. What's, what's, what's this about? Just keep talking. Okay. Yeah, I play Minecraft this one. Yes. I play Minecraft this. <laughs> this. I don't want to just a it. tip. Just a tip. No. I I'm going to take a shaft. <laughs> Mortal Kombat movie, you said. Yeah. Uh, Warner Brothers has announced they're going to make a series based on the live action series of Mortal Kombat. Actually, the branch that's called Blue Ribbon Content, which is part of Warner Bros, is going to um, make this series. And I have no idea what to expect because they're very vague on the information. There aren't any release dates, there aren't any specific. Um, leads to what the story is about, so it's kind of just like uh, tasting in the dark, you know? Like what in the dark? Yeah, like tasting, like where you're feeling in the dark. Kukaracha? Mm -hmm, the Kukaracha dining in the kitchen. <laughs> so it's 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 were like. There, were there any trailers or stuff? Mm, no, that's that's the point. It's oh. very vague. Mm. So I'm I'm hoping there's gonna be blood, gore, and all or other violence. I mean, the Mortal Kombat series are just very provocative and very violent. <laughs> yes. Even to the point there were some senators. I, Duke. I, 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 um, I watched it uh, this week. There were some senators back in the day in America who uh, were like thinking of banning the game Mortal Kombat because of his of his aggress aggressiveness. Yeah, it's pretty pretty graphic. Same as with GTA V, there was also a parliamentary discussion about the content of it, every, like the torture scene of of uh, of, of uh, Travis. Yeah, every fucking GTA gets at least one pass in Parliament talking about how bad it is now. It should be banned. Like if they don't, they're just like, okay, guys, we for GTA VI we need even more stuff. No disrespect. Hey, I'm America. We got guns, and we allow children to shoot guns, but don't say fuck on TV. No, like no, no nude. But guns, yay. We bomb the shit out of people. That's called freedom. <laughs> that's, oh. that's not going to offend anyone at all. No! Now nah, you're good. But the uh, moral, moral. The moral of the combat is fight. The Mortal Kombat thing. There were also two movies I remember in the past from Mortal Kombat. We talked about that mm -hmm. with the Tetris movie because the director of the Mortal Kombat movies, thank you, is going to direct the Tetris movie. So is he involved with the series That's, or what? I don't know. Like I said, it's very vague. There, um, there, will, there will be some old uh, acquaintances coming by. There's also a very vague sentence because yeah, I, like I find it all on Jan. Characters or actors? Or? No. It's like I said. It's pretty vague about the information about uh, about uh, the plot of the story. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 It's gonna be a series, that's for sure. But what kind of series? Maybe, maybe it will be like an interactive story or like an interactive. Series like the viewer can decide who will die and what kind of we. What kind of fatality do you want? Shove his dick about his ass or <laughs> rip his heart out, <laughs> or just rip his spine out, maybe like normal. And then play piano with it, like xylophone on the ribcage. 
yeah, we're pretty fucked up. So, the last topic for mine today is... Oh, there will be... You're, you're gonna love this. You're gonna love this one. There will be a documentary about the, the ma- remaking of Halo 2. Ooh. In this series, you can watch... watch From the Master Chief Collection? Mm-hmm. Buddy. Yes! Buddy. No. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Okay, that's gross. Maybe, maybe. I don't want to be associated with Jersey. With? Jersey. <laughs> the Jersey side. Matteo. <laughs> <laughs> Big fucking <laughs> wink. We. Oui. Love us, Kiri. Anyway, this, uh, this documentary is about uh, the game uh, Halo 2, which has been remade in HD. Mm-hmm. Uh, it takes you back behind the scenes of how the processing is going and how it's going to be produced, everything. So for the real hardcore really fans... Curious. Yes. For the real hardcore fans of Halo. Did you ever see Halo Halo 1 anniversary? I see I saw a movie of Halo. Oh, the Forward Unto Dawn series. It was a series. It was a series. It was it was I saw one never was there was never a full movie released like they had plans for it. Peter Jackson was actually uh, rumored to be on it, but that never went through. But they did make a short series with t- around 20 minute episodes, yeah, like five of them. I, I watched those and I, I felt like, no, this is not good. This no? is not good enough. No, I thought it was pretty fucking cool. Uh, I thought it should be more like action. Uh, you know, if I'm I, the action I, kind of guy. If I, if I say this though, might they change your opinion? They actually made that not with a multi million budget, but just for just buy and for fans. Yeah, that's cool. That's great. Yeah, I know what you mean. I mean, that doesn't change that you like mm-hmm. action, mm-hmm. but I mean, did, there wasn't millions of dollars behind it. I thought it was pretty amazing what they but made. You can see that of movies. Well, how much money has been put mm-hmm. into it? Like, you know, the most uh, Dutch movies, for example, the plot. It's it not it's not vague, but it's it's like yeah, we kind of know what the story is about, but the character development isn't going to get very deep <laughs> in the stories. Like that's the the I think that sums up. The, the Dutch movies. Yeah? Yeah. yeah because I, I saw, know, I I saw the movie that Kankerliers. That's a real, that's a oh, real that's movie. A yeah. re- that is actually a, that's real, a real movie. movie. Yeah. yeah, it's called... in, in Assholes or something, or bitches, or idiots. Can- yeah, it's like uh, t- uh, three guys with uh, cancer who are fighting in a hospital against cancer. And uh, it shows you the happy side. In, uh, no, not the happy side, but they're making the best out of it. Yeah, exactly. And that movie is great. Like, it's a very good movie, mm-hmm. but they don't dive into the plot enough for me to get actually like 100% involved in that story. Yeah, and, that's, uh, and the film is like an, an hour and a half. It's, it's, it's just like, it's been put in an hour and a half and like, yes, we're gonna stretch out this part, but yeah, we're gonna go that mm-hmm. part, that part. And mm-hmm. that, that just takes out the flow. I, I, get, I understand what you mean. I think about multi-million uh, dollar budgets. I think it's funny if you watch Game of Thrones. You only watched a few episodes, right? I watched two episodes. I'm so still I'm, have to I'm get not, into it. I'm not going to dive into spoiler territory or something, but you can see if you go from season one to two, like season one, people were still slightly watching it, you know? It didn't reach the fame yet it had. It has right now. Yeah. So, so you, notice that, you notice that the sets where they filmed, that yeah, every now and then the same spot came back, you know? Not that many variety in the, in the places where they went. And then shit caught on, and then in season two and three they went like fucking everywhere. And they spent so much money on the scenery, it's beautiful. Like big cities and stuff. And You know what? what, what, what when I see a movie that has special effects in it, and mm-hmm. when the first special effects scene comes up, like for example, the first Hercules, like a few, uh, like a few months back, like eight or nine Which months. Which one, the the gay blonde one or the rock one? Not the rock one, the gay blonde one. Yeah, uh, that's the one you saw. Yeah, <laughs> I saw the rock one. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho, so I saw the first one, and Donnie and me were very, very disappointed <laughs> with the special effects. I mean, yeah. In the first scene, I'm not going to spoil too much. You jump out of the waterfall, and you see like, oh, special effects, and mm-hmm. the special effects were so fucking bad. In my opinion, and I was just like, yeah, and we just laughed through the entire movie. Do you you, did, you saw Three Hundred Rise of an Empire as well, right? Fuck yeah, that's a good movie. That was a fucking good movie. But you, did you remember that point that all of a sudden there was a horse like at the boat or yeah, something? Yeah, that was like very we need weird. we need more horses. Like there's one freaking horse at the end of the movie. That was just like a bullshit. Like, yeah. what? So, but like, then again, we got enough action. Let's put it a horse in as well. Like the action, like I'm gonna 
gonna be each day battle fleet master commander mm -hmm. like the girl. Yeah. Lots of sex. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And fucker, this is what I wanted to say. Yeah, exactly. It's just like the, it's like uh, like bold and beautiful. Hi, I don't know you. Mm, I don't know you too. No, Let's I don't fuck. care. Let's fuck. Mm, like a bad porn. <laughs> the Hercules uh, rock movie had a pretty cool twist in the story. I thought, like the whole idea of Hercules and this whole legend and how he's so strong. Turned out that. In the movie, they actually talked about that his fellowship, his people he, where he was with, made up the stories as just as being sort of first propaganda makers in ancient Greece already. Fucking Greece. I thought it was pretty fucking cool. I have no light. Oh, sorry. They don't even see my hand if I do this. Mm. By the way, The Expendables 3. That one? Yeah, did you see it? Arnold Schwarzenegger was in it again. Yeah? He made a few more lines. I fucking love them. Yeah? I'm gonna say one line, because I was particularly interested in that, like, Oh my god, nostalgia! And he was, uh, he was, an, he was, frankly, he was fighting with them, and he, was, he went to the roof, and then he said, Watch out for the chopper! Was it on fire? No. But he said, like, Watch out for the mm -hmm. chopper! And after that, I that know. he said, I know, but I'm talking about the roof. Oh god, you're ruining the fucking moments. Fucking hell, this is... Oh. <laughs> go again, go, continue. Oh, move this fucking room. Continue. No. Do the chopper! I'm a little child, I don't want this. What? So he, he made... <laughs> like, no. Is that your way to get back into the mood? <laughs> <laughs> the, the point being here is he made like an awesome uh, remarks on his... Like a wink onto his uh, previous movies. Yeah, like, yeah, his older work. I like, he said like, What's up for the chopper? And, and he actually said, Get on the chopper! <laughs> It was amazing. Watch it, it's pretty cool. Did you see that? Expendables. One liners, action, way too fucking much. Uh, Perfect for you. Yeah. <laughs> way, too, way too fucking much action. Like. Did you see that clip of uh, Gandalf, of the Ian McKellen, with all the kids? Say, like, please study for your exams, kids, because you know what else will happen? Did you, you see that? Shall not yeah, pass. through the window. That was pretty fucking cool. And all the kids, like, yeah! See that, but no, I'm gonna watch it. Can we watch it now? No, we can't because it's time oh, for the yes, indeed. It's time for the Dutch word of the week. This day is gonna be oh my god, what's this? I mean, look, look, oh wait, the other side, what's this? What's this? I don't know. What is it? I don't know. But anyways, the random Dutchman of the week, just let's call it just the Dutchman of the week, is going to be... Can I get a drum roll, please? Drum roll. Wow. <laughs> Such a drum roll. No waiting. Why do I only find a very, very, very interesting word, but they're very hard to translate in Dutch? Can you speed this up like finding... I can. I don't know if I will. Ah, oh, come on. It will be very honest, interesting. <laughs> did, you, did you remember that? <laughs> the bloemen ontsnapten van de kaasboer. The flowers escaped from the cheese. The yeah. flowers escaped from the cheese farmer. The boeren, the bloemen ontsnapten uit de kaasboer, van de kaasboer. The flowers escaped from the cheese farmer. Thank you very much. Cheese! Do I have a subject for you people? No, you don't have any subject because you're already fucked. Bye. Fuck. What? Really? Now what? It's no, it's not by. It's 30 minutes in. We yeah, can't... but I need to cut at least six minutes, remember? Yeah, well, it's gonna be a short episode this time, right? True. It's a, it's a short, oh. it's a short, it, oh, whoa, hello. It's a short subject as well. Um, it's about animatronics, it's about a horror game, and I know a lot of you people are socially fun gamers. Wish I've been kicked out again! He's not coming back. No, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm refusing to get back. Sorry, guys, but you kicked me out like four or five times for no apparently for no apparent reason. I've done. I'm still there. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's all good, you little potato. Oh, suck my. 
So that game I was talking about is Five Nights at Freddy's Part 2 is coming out. Already! So it's two then. Get ready as well. Get ready to? To rumble. Mm -hmm. And get fucked in the butt by animatronics. There is a trailer out there. We haven't watched it, so we can't really say what we think about it. But I'll roll it while we watch. Really sweet to you in the camera. I'm going back to my own universe. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. I was Robo Otter. I was Weasel. And if you think we should say that you need to subscribe or share or like or comment about what we talked please do so commenting will be very good <coughs> fun no really guys if you guys uh, want to leave a comment we'll really appreciate it and we'll respond to the comments that you see in the previous Warning. videos and we like your likes of course Warning. so let us know what you think about the subject that we discussed see you next time bye commenters will be shot violators will be shot again Bye. Are you a trespasser?